Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Roken7 here again. Roke for short. I'm here again with Star Trek Online to show you a few more tips and tricks on how to play the game. Now, today, I, I wasn't really sure on what to do for the uh, video, so I decided that I would show you how to uh, navigate the fleet page, pretty much, and how a fleet could help you get better in the game so to speak like make your ship stronger and find friends and all that fun stuff there anyways let's go to the fleet page you won't be able to access this page until you join a fleet so here's our page here we're a relatively small fleet but we're moving along pretty well now this is what you'll see at first you're gonna see your fleet's uh, symbol right there you're gonna see their name their fleet level and fleet XP that right there is just accumulation of all this stuff here plus all the other holdings put together now that's for the star base and this is for our mine um, the embassy and the spire now this right here is the message of the day usually uh, this will be done by someone in the fleet who's in charge of it some some fleets don't really care and the guy who's the head guy who's in charge handles it our fleet um, I have our first officer handle all this stuff he does a really good job but anyways let's not ramble on about that this is the overview page now Star Trek Online is really good about having everything in tabs that you can move around and all that fun stuff blah 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 anyways now this is the fleet activity right here this tells you what happens uh, with other members of the fleet so Paul one of our guys has been promoted to it doesn't really tell you because it's probably a glitch so more than likely he wasn't promoted at all and this is just very old so don't ever really worry about this stuff unless you're trying to find out if one of your friends is still in the fleet or something I don't know so anyways holdings this is the holdings page you won't be able to see this right here if you're a lower member if you do not have access to this part of the fleet you won't be able to see it plain and simple so this is the, the lithium mine sorry about that and this pretty much will show you how far along we are on the lithium mine and these are the open projects at the time which they're complete so I can't really show you how that works here we go here's some now these right here are projects that you can donate to which in fact can greatly help you out in the game now you may not want to join a fleet you may want to go it alone but Star Trek Online is really moving towards you know making people have to be in a fleet you know to have to interact with others which is a good thing but you know I wasn't really all for it I wanted to just play the game by myself till I made some really good friends on here and we've been playing this game for going on three years now and we do a pretty good job of helping new guys along it's what our fleet does so with that said this is the embassy and today I'm gonna to be helping you figure out all this stuff so when you donate to these projects you get something that's called fleet credits when you get fleet credits you can spend them on a vast number of items so right here if you were to click on this project recruitment infrastructure support now what you're doing when you donate to this is you're helping the fleet get a little bit farther in this project line which is yellow so let's look it up what is yellow recruits okay this is recruitment for I guess Starfleet I don't know it's just recruitment whatever and if we finish this one tier 3 we get completing this project gives you your fleet the following options unlocks plus one duty officer assignment slot which will um, be something that you can purchase from the embassy and duty officer assignments if you saw my previous video on duty officer assignments and stuff like that I forgot to mention that you only get 20 officers out or 20 projects out at a time for duty officer assignments so this will give you 21 so to speak so 
Romulan duty officer, recruitment contact, unique purple officers. That will give you Romulan duty officer recruitment contacts. So this will give you um, a chance to get unique purple duty officers from a Romulan duty officer guy. Um, new provision re requisitions, equipment, uh, we, you can now get uh, personal ground kit variants, Mark 12, and very rare Romulan bridge officer recruitments. So, this right here, I will just have to show you because these guys are awesome. They're all right here. As you can see, my entire crew, except for the one Vulcan, is all Romulan. And let me show you why. For instance, uh, No Joel is one. I don't know if it'll really tell me, but if you ever want to know what uh, your duty officers can give you, because they also help you out like your duty officers do, your bridge officers can give you all sorts of crazy tricks, like this right here. Uh, cute senses. This is a ground ability, ground ability, and that's another one. Now, superior Romulan operative plus critic crit and crit severity so critical chance and critical severity reduced cloak cooldown let's get the details on that space trade increases critical hit chance and critical hit severity decreases the cooldown of cloaking abilities plus two percent uh, critical chance plus five percent critical severity and plus fifteen percent uh, power recharge speed for cloaking so if you have a cloaking ship this would really help you out there plus if you're a DPS dealer this will really help especially for tanks who pick the engineering path this will also help you greatly if you're not doing enough damage you think so these guys will help out a lot the engineering ones here it is for space um, increases the effectiveness of cloaking abilities and provides a minor defense boost increases the effectiveness of the damage buff and ship gains after decloaking the ship sorry plus 3.8 percent defense after decloaking plus 0.2 percent damage bonus for five seconds plus 200 stealth when using cloak abilities oh there it goes does not stack with other subterfuge bonuses only the highest will apply so the stealth part does not stack for these guys but this stuff does that's good and I think I have a science one too. Yep, sure do. What does he do? Uh, looks like the same thing. Yep, same thing as the engineering. The only one that's different is the tactical guys, which is really awesome. I like what they do. Um, let's see. So that was that. That's something that you can get from the fleet. So, with these fleet credits that you earn, that's just one of the things you can get. Within the fleet, you can also get tactical consoles from the spire you can get fleet weapons and fleet warp core oh not at warp core fleet deflector sorry the def fleet engines and shields from the starbase you can also get fleet ground gear like armor and personal shields and weapons so that's one good reason to go there they also hand out um, small side items for f um, fleet actions only where you can call in uh, fleet support ships from here from the spire you can get um, special uniform um, you can get uh, special um, tactical consoles you can get special fleet ships which includes the Cadian if I'm saying that right uh, if I'm not I apologize Cadian Aatrox carrier which is a very huge ship I can show you one right now mm. Federation, scroll down. Here it is. Pretty much one of the largest ships in the game. Shoots out a bunch of fighters. You can get the fleet version of it that will have a lot more hull strength and an extra console slot, I do believe. And you'll be able to wreak some havoc a little bit better with it. Now, you can also get, I think, from the Spire, the fleet battle cruiser. I'm pretty sure it's where you get it from. If I'm not, correct me in the comments below. I apologize. But I know one of these projects or one of these um, holdings will give you that as well, which is another good ship, which comes with uh, an extra tactical slot 
and a lot more hull. From the embassy you can get science consoles along with uh, ground gear stuff. There's a lot of good ground gear stuff there. Um, you can find that all in the shuttle bay. Um, you have to take the transporter pad directly across from the huge or the turbo lift tunnel. Man, I'm out of it right now. The turbo lift goes down to the shuttle bay or up wherever the hell it is and you go out there and you talk to those guys one of those guys will give you science consoles another guy will give you ground gear stuff and if you go to the ops they will give you the duty officers I mentioned and they will also give you more fleet action stuff like Romulan reinforcement ships and all that fun stuff what else um I don't really remember a lot, but if you just go through these right here, these three pieces, they will help tell you along with these new provisioned requisitions. These will all tell you what these places will give you. Every single one. I'm just naming the ones I know off my head, but the Dilithium Mine gives you warp cores, which are really awesome. Oh, the Spire gives you plasma infused warp cores, which react a little bit different. You'll just have to look that up. Um, the lithium mine will give you warp cores, engineering consoles, which can give you extra hull HP, will give you extra resistance, will give you a better turning rate, all that fun stuff. They also give you warp cores, like I said. This also runs for Romulans as well. So if you uh, have a Romulan character, you can also go to, if you went Klingon or if you went uh, Starfleet, whichever direction that you chose to go, you can go either way. And their Dilithium Mine, Embassy, Spire, and Starbase will give you the same thing. You'll be able to get um, your Singularity cores and stuff that you need for your ship from these places as well. Now with everything that I pretty much went over, um, the main thing is being a part of a team. I know some people don't like it, but you know, it's one of those things if you want to excel in the game, now you might as well play the game, so to speak. So, yeah. Being uh, part of a fleet, it's actually really fun. You can make some good friends and all that fun stuff. Plus, uh, if you look right here, this is where your fleet credit total will be. Now, some of these items can be kind of pricey, so you may want to save up as much as possible. Try and climb on the leaderboards. Um, like for instance, a lot of these guys, I, I put out a little event so they'll actually contribute. You know, some fleets will actually do that. Like right now, I'm handing out fleet modules so people will actually have fun and donate to the fleet. Give them a reason to donate, so to speak. So, yeah, um, that's that. That's the holdings. Here's the news page. <laughs> Not much there. It's the same thing as the fleet activity. It's just in a bigger page. The events tab, this is where the event coordinator is supposed to be supposed to be posting events, but he hasn't been because he hasn't been online. Uh, anyways, here's the roster. And I'm the only one online right now because it's 4 o'clock in the morning. So, you can find people on here. You can find out what their rank is in-game, and you can also find uh, their fleet rank. Uh, I think I was right. Here we go. So you can find out what their rank is and all that fun stuff. Here's information about the fleet if you want to know more. Um, settings. Here's the settings so you can see what your rank is allowed to do. There's a lot of things in here that you can do within the fleet. And some fleets will have most of that cut off up until you reach rank 5 or 6 and 7. So 7 can't be cut off at all. Uniforms, right now it is bugged all to hell, so I can't really show you any of these, but the higher ranks will list what you can have, and you can try and check these out from the uniform guys down on Earth Space Dock or wherever else you may go, Deep Space Nine and all that fun stuff. Whoops. I think that was it. Yep, that's all of them. Yep. Um, yeah. That's 
I think that's pretty much it. Well, this page, this piece right here just shows you featured projects where you can make the inside of the star base look nice. It's not entirely something that uh, is worth it. There's different items for different parts. Like this is for the dilithium mine. I can already tell you that. That's for the embassy. Uh, dilithium mine, so on and so forth, stuff like that. Dyson sphere, and that this will tell you what the project is if you click on it. Events will pop up right here. Uh, I feel like I'm rambling on now. I think I covered everything. If, if there's something in here that I did not get, please leave it in the comments and I will answer you back and tell you what it is. Um, yeah, so if you ever want to join a fleet, our fleet is definitely open. We do nothing but training for people who don't really know what something is in the game. If you just want to join, to ask that question and then leave go right ahead we will answer the question you can go right ahead and leave so yeah that's my spill on this right here uh, if you like the video and you want to see more uh, hit the like button subscribe uh, if you have any comments like I said leave them down below um, any questions I will answer them um, this is Roken 7 friends call me Roke see you later